Hey guys, it's Chubby Boy ninety five here, uh, bringing you another tutorial. I haven't made a tutorial in a long time, and some people get pissed off with me. It's like, what the fuck, man? I subscribed to you for tutorials, and you're not giving me any fucking tutorials. So I'm bringing you a tutorial now. Right, okay, this tutorial um, is a Sony Vegas uh, tutorial, and it's basically like a muffle. You muffle the sounds, so I'll leave a video at the end. No, actually, I'll leave. A, I'll put a video in now. Down in there. Sorry. And there you go. There's the there's the example of what it kind of is. So it kind of like muffles. You know what I mean. So muffles the sound. So it's like coming from a different room or something. So uh, first, what you want to do is open Sony Vegas. Obviously. Then you want to get like a uh, record yourself talking or something. Or I'm just gonna get music because I can't be able to record myself. Let's get some all time low. Uh, what should we have? Um, weightless. Let's have some weightless. We'll have some weight. Right, let's see. Ow. Let's get to the chorus so you can read it. Right, okay, let's go from there. Maybe it's not my weekend. It's gonna be my year. Right, okay, so as you can probably. I'll just turn it down a little bit because I fucking know. Right, okay, so as you can hear from here, um. It is, uh, it's quite loud, yeah, so listen. Exactly. So what you want to do to do the effect is you want to get a bit of the track, so what you want to have. So, uh, let's just go here. Right, okay, and then split the track, just push S. Split the track, and uh, do it to there. Right, okay, and then what you're going to do is right-click on the little part that you split, then go to up here, and then go apply non-real-time event effects. Okay? Then click on this little thing here, audio, and then all... And then go to ampli amplitude modulation. Double click it. And just put OK. Right, okay, now here, the settings, what you got to do is the first one, wet out, put full, 24. Leave amplitude and dry out if it's bottom in there. Right, okay, then you want to do, um, click this button here, it says blend graph edges. You want to do that. Then put these two bars full. And then here it says low pass start frequency hertz. And then just click that. It should be 400. But if it's not, just change it to 400. Um, and to be honest, that's basically it. Uh, and then just save it anywhere you want. I'm going to save it in a random place. Uh, libraries, documents. There, I'll save it in there. Right, okay. Save. Okay. Right, okay. And then let's listen to it. Let's go. And I'm so sick of watching all the minutes pass as I go nowhere. So you see, it's kind of like the effect, like, let's say, like, you're at a party or something, you could do a video, and, like, they go outside, and it sounds like the music's coming from inside. But another thing you might want to do is just, um, drag this one over just a little bit, so it just goes over the, uh, the original music, just so it kind of, like, blends in a bit more, rather than just cutting into it. So it's and I'm so sick of watching all the minutes Yeah, and there we go. Um, yeah, so I just want to say thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'm going to start making much more tutorials now. I've even got a couple more in mind. So, um, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and laters.